briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A heated dispute that escalated into a physical altercation marked the beginning of a legal battle in a New York cooperative apartment. The resident in question, Pullman, was at the heart of the conflict, inciting issues with numerous false accusations against an upstairs neighbor. He claimed the neighbor was causing excessive noise with their television and even running an illegal bookbinding operation within their apartment. However, upon investigation, these accusations proved false, as the neighbor didn't even possess a television, and no evidence of a business was found. Pullman's disruptive behavior did not end with the unfounded allegations. It culminated in a physical fight with the same neighbor he had previously made accusations against. His actions elicited negative reactions from other residents, and the cooperative board decided to intervene. Thanks to a supermajority vote, the board evicted Pullman for his objectionable conduct. This eviction was met with legal opposition from Pullman. The case inherently pivoted on the business judgment rule, a judicial initiative permitting corporations to execute decisions free from court involvement, provided these decisions are taken in good faith and within the scope of their authority. The court upheld the eviction, ultimately siding with the cooperative board. It was agreed that the board had acted appropriately within its rights as laid out under the business judgment rule. Thus, the decision validated the termination of Pullman's residency, accepting that the board's action had remained in line with corporate objectives and they had satisfied their responsibilities to protect collective interests. This ruling not only affirmed the cooperative board's decision, but further solidified the application of the business judgment rule. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.